Hey everybody, I'd just like to show what I carry in my little uh, Altoids survival tin. Uh, this kit is designed for urban survival. It's not really geared toward, you know, wilderness survival. A lot of these items in here, you know, probably wouldn't do you too much good in the out in the bush. But uh, I don't spend a lot of time out in the woods, you know, or really wilderness areas. So I'm not really concerned about that so much i spend a lot of time in bigger cities smaller towns so this kit is uh you know if you're trapped in a city during some sort of you know sth situation you know i think some of these items help you maybe evade people or you know get from point a to point b or maybe if you have to be held up in a building you know unfamiliar territory you know maybe some of these items you can make a tripwire or some noise you know something to alert you you might be uh like i said staying uh somewhere you're not familiar with in a bigger city but uh and then you know my idea is in a city you know the your biggest threat's probably going to come from other people or natural disasters you know you're in a building and the, there's a, a power outage you know a flood tsunami if you're toward the coast um kind of this that's what this kit's more geared for toward that so but on the outside i just have a uh, simple hair band holding it shut and then i have reflective tape on the outside all four sides and then red reflective tape on the bottom if you have to walk at night um you know a car breaks down or whatever situation is usually hold this in your hand, you know, as you're walking, let somebody see, you know, make sure somebody sees you. And then I have a, I didn't paint it or anything. I just want it to look, you know, pretty much like a normal Altoids tin. There's that. The alligator clip small alligator clip and here's a bottle cap for kind of size comparison of everything but uh these you know are designed for you know electrical testing electric electronics but i figure you know something like this you could use it uh in a pinch mate uh, makeshift uh fishing jig you know so what i did i drilled a hole in the end here and here and i put a small split ring that'll you know give you the ability to hook a uh, hook to this and then a swivel in the end there and kind of make like i said a makeshift fishing jig you know um also kind of like a needle nose pliers you know you can use it for stripping wire uh holding something if you want to tie like an intricate knot or something do a you know repair job you know it's kind of like extra set of little fingers you know possibly maybe pull like a you know sliver out of your finger you know if it's a larger sliver but and then uh but that's that and i have a like a small fishing kit i guess uh you know like i said you're probably not gonna be fishing in an urban you know survival situation but like i said that fishing line you could make it like a easily tie this to like a soda can or something if you're held up in an area, you're trying to, you know, stay hidden from people or whatnot. But yeah, and then, I mean, obviously catch fish with it. If you're in a, you know, out in the wood wilderness. But uh, two small fish hooks. And then a swivel here. And this is a, what I consider a locking style. That means that this loop comes through and it protrudes through the main body. It's like a lock. There's another style but it just slips inside of here. It doesn't have that piece that extends past through. So if the other style, if you pull them really hard, it'll actually pop apart. This is what I consider a locking, a better locking style, but that, and it's in a little baggie to kind of keep everything together. And I have a nylon, heavy duty, a nylon upholstery thread. And that is a pre-tie of a another swivel pre-tied to that and then I have some zip ties kind of holding it together but that's also in a baggie to kind of keep everything together and so it's not getting tangled up with the rest of this stuff in here. P 
piece of spark plug porcelain. This will knock a window out of a side, I don't know, side window of a car. Won't work on the windshield, but any tempered safety glass, it'll knock it right out. Um, if you have to break into a car, you know, to get, you know, do a vehicle rescue or, you know, trying to get in maybe your own car, or, you know, searching for supplies or something. But there's that. I have a chain link. This one, this little, this one here is rated for two, 220 pounds. Uh, you can easily uh, hook this to any belt loop. And, uh, you know, it's heavy metal. I figured the idea behind this is you could tie this if you had to throw, throw a rope out to somebody or, you know, you know, you, it, adding weight to a rope, you can throw it a heck of a lot farther than just trying to throw like a, a rope out to somebody. But that's this it's heavy metal. You can maybe uh, jam it under a door, hold a door open or shut, or maybe, you know, maybe you could slip something through here, you know, use it as like a kind of like a pry, a pry on something maybe. And then inside here, the threaded part, there's a little Zippo flint. They fit perfectly right inside there. And I have a really powerful little magnet. And that's this, this one. I mean, you could easily pick up like a, you know, big wad of keys, no problem. This thing will pick up you know, pretty heavy stuff. And then that, uh, either one of those snap swivels will, will easily attach to this. I'm gonna have a uh, small tube that had like a fishing, small ice fishing jigs in it, but it's totally waterproof. But I have uh, paper matches. I carry paper matches versus wood matches. Uh, you can fit more of them. They're, you know, really flat. You can fit more in a small tube like this. And I have the striker inside there. And then what I did, you can't really see it. Um, I took double-sided duct tape and I taped it to the back. So if I want to peel that film off of there and I could stick that striker to the inside of the tin or whatever, make it easier to strike the matches. But that's that. And then I taped, uh, taped the end shut with foil tape. So that's uh, totally waterproof. Small colored pencil. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I think better than a pen. If I had to carry a pen or a pencil, I'd carry a pencil. You know, you could actually shave this down, use the wood shavings to start a fire, you know, cut this in half, sharpen the other half. You Now you can give, you know, pencil to somebody else. Uh, they work all the time. You don't have to worry about them leaking or, uh, you know, not working. And you can actually do like a, you know, a rub if you want to transfer like a, you know, number or whatever you can kind of you can't do that with a pen but that's why i carry a you know if i had a choice between a pen and a pencil i'd carry a pen pencil and i have a i do have a small pen came out of like a little uh like a swiss army kind of card survival card for your wallet but that's got like a little pen insert and these little uh one inch glow sticks they say like just really generic brand, but they have better ones. But this is, uh, you get three for like a dollar at Walmart. During the ice fishing, you know, winter months, they use them for ice fishing jigs. But they're pretty much one inch long. And they'll last uh, quite a while. You know, when you, they're brightest the first 15 minutes. You could easily navigate around, uh, you know, a dark and pitch dark room. Especially if it had like shiny floors. The shinier the floor, the easier it's going to reflect. It's going to reflect off of it. But you could definitely easily navigate your way around a, a, a you know, if there's a power outage situation. And then uh, you could easily read all the little, you know, details of a dollar bill or a map with one of these. And there's three different colors. But I have those uh, held together with yellow electrical tape instead of the normal black. If you're going to carry tape, why not carry something that's bright colored um, versus the black? I figure. And then uh, soft, just uh, utility wire. Pretty good piece of that. Small safety pin. Hair pin. Uh, paper clip. 
larger one. I have a uh, Spyderco bug, little tiny knife. I think this is like the smallest production knife that they make. But uh, let's see how tiny it is. They call it a bug for a reason. Uh, but I figured any knife is better than no knife. Super thin, kind of a cute little knife. And I have uh, one large fish hook, uh, fish hook this big. I mean, you could easily throw this out, hook gear, something you're trying to pull up towards you or, you know, that kind of thing. Or, you know, catch a fish with it, obviously. This little button light, button lamp. It's 13 lumens, 17 hours. It's a disposable light. It's designed to like stick inside of a tackle box or inside of a toolbox, like night fishing. But you get like a pack of three. Or, I can't remember the price on these, but they're pretty reasonable. It's a simple little switch. Activates it, but it has a, like I said, it's disposable. Once the battery power goes, you just chuck it, the whole thing, throw it away. And it's got like a little sticky pad on the back. It's kind of handy. Uh, nail file, small piece, you know, break a fingernail, whatever, it's kind of annoying, catches on fabric and stuff, it just really kind of bugs me, but yeah, little nail file. Cotter pin, this is a pretty good size one, this one's almost the same size as the tin. You can, you know, open this up pretty easy, to just bend it open, it doubles its length, uh, it's pretty stiff like a wire. And it's got a eyelet on it. You could easily attach this, you know, pound it into wood or push it into the dirt, kind of like a tent stake or something. If you got to hold something in place, bend it, all different sorts of shapes. But yeah, there's that. And I have a small pair of scissors, real sharp little scissors, and that's held together with shut with a little bread tie. Flat razor. And then I have, you know, it comes with that, they come like this with that paper on there. You could peel that off, you know, start a fire with it or whatever if you had to. But inside of here, there's a perfect place to tuck one of these other little disposable carpentry blades. They fit nice and snug right inside there. And then what I also did is I soaked this paper in uh, gun oil. So, you know, the oil from your fingers, if you touch that razor blade, it, you know, helps kind of corrosion resistance. But that gives you two two blades there plus the little knife. Then I have a stainless steel construction screw, S uh, square number two drive, and then I cut the head open with a saw, or a uh, dr uh, dremel I should say. So it, you could easily you know, drive this with like a washer or a dime even. But that's that and Then I have a uh, Tylenol, and then I what I did is uh, wrote uh, actually this I didn't write on it. But the the Tylenol is come with it says Tylenol right on it, and then 100 milligrams, so you don't have to worry about labeling this. But my other the other pills, you know, if you're gonna carry pills with you, you know, I always like to write it on a little piece of paper and roll it right up inside of here, so there's no question of what you know this pill is or what it does. Um, even if you write the information down, if the kit gets spilt, now the information is separate and you don't know who's going to be using this. You know, you might be, you know, handing this off. To, oh, I got a headache, you know, or whatever. Here, take one of these. And it's, you know, if you're not going to be able to remember what pills you carry with you. But like I said, this one's printed right on it. But if I, I suggest if you carry pills in a kit like this, write it, write, put it on a piece of paper and write it, roll it right up in there with a the tinfoil. This is a uh, hundred milligrams of caffeine. A jet awake you know idea behind that you know sth situation you might be staying up you know a lot longer than you'd like give you a little caffeine boost i wouldn't suggest taking all this on an empty stomach you probably get sick to your stomach um at least i i that was my experience with them so i have two of them two of each the caffeine and the tylenol And I have a zip tie. This one has a built-in, like a heavy-duty loop, I guess. And then it has a metal 
retaining tab instead of the, the cheaper ones just have a plastic that's pretty good length there two of them and I have uh, two of these they're like a, they're designed for trail marking like a heavy thumbtack and they come with this reflective tape on them I mean you could easily peel that off if you didn't want that on there um, but yeah, they, you, any Walmart sells these, I think, during the hunting season. Any outdoors store should have these. I have one, a bigger uh, inspection mirror. had a handle on it. You know, just, just take it apart. Any tool, anybody that sells tools would have something like this. This this round size fits nice, almost perfectly right inside that tin. I guess the idea behind that, you know, if you're... You know, trying to navigate, get to point from point A to point B, you know, during a dangerous situation, instead of sticking your head out and, you know, maybe compromising your position or, you know, something, you could kind of stay hidden and peek around, uh, you know, flash it at somebody, get their attention. With that, and with that ball on there, you can hook it in here and uh, kind of use that as a handle. There's enough tension on there to kind of hold it. And then uh, one small common nail, and then I sharpened it. You know, if something's going to be, you know, why not sharpen a nail? It's designed to be sharp. You know, most, they're pretty dull out of the box, but this has got a nice little sharp point on it. And I took a cotter pin here. This is a little more stouter one than the other one, a little thicker. And you can get these all different sizes, really super small ones. This you can get little thicker, thicker ones. This is like a nail. I mean, if you know you had used the nail already, you could use this as a nail. And I sharpened it to make it easier to drive or push into some material. But it has a built-in loop. It's hard to tie stuff to nails. You know, this you could use as like a fishing sinker, all sorts of stuff with this loop in here like that. Then I have a aluminum. This is designed for uh, sealing ductwork. It's like HVAC tape. Uh, this you can get. My Walmart sells it. You know, most any hardware store would have this. Super sticky. It's like tin foil. Uh, bends, stays and stays in the shape you bend it into. Easy, really nice for making repairs. And the paper backing, you can write notes on this. Stick the whole thing to something. And I have a. Right in the right in the rain, rain or shine notepad, a piece of the paper out of that. It's like a waterproof paper, and then I highlighted the right in the rain aspect of it, so it kind of remind you that it is does have a waterproof, more characteristic than normal paper. And a uh, pink card paper. If you're gonna leave a note, why not leave something you know that's bright colored? So I just carried white paper. I think it's a better idea, you know, get somebody's attention. But yeah, the pink. I would like, you know, even like a bright fluorescent paper would be probably better even than that. And then this is a uh, white duct tape. And then I made it easy to peel the corner, but I, it's, it's, this is on a piece of lam and laminated paper, so it's just peel it off easy. And then this is uh, double sided duct tape. This got this blue film. You peel this off. It's not any thicker than normal duct tape. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing. It's kind of on this laminated paper, so you can easily peel it off. But it's sticky on both sides, just like normal duct tape. Another piece of that uh, foil, foil paper. And then in the bottom, a, a large band aid. And it's like kind of a cloth style band aid. This band aid, I mean, big enough you could uh, this would easily cover up like a scraped knee, no problem. Pretty good sized band aid. But that's uh, what I got in my kit. And uh, some of these items I might modify as I go or maybe change some out. But uh, this is just a lot of this, some of the stuff I already had on hand. 
and when I kind of made this kit, I wanted to keep it kind of like the every man's kit. You know, you can find this stuff at any hardware store, Walmart, Dollar General, just have a lot of these items. Um, low buck, you know. But, uh, thank you for watching.